Okay, so, so far, that has happened in February. Um, at the elementary school level, we had the Great Kindness Challenge and the 100th Day Celebration, which was on February 4th. And then at the high school level, we had the um, Robotics Competition, which was on the 16th, and Irish Exchange. And then AP Registration deadline was today. And the ASVAB testing will be, will be on the 26th. And then the deadline for that registration was the 14th. And then this is a little video that we had that we found from the 100th day of school. Along with the 100th day celebration, we also had our Irish exchange, um, actually not, our Irish students come actually uh, to Spring Ford. They came on February 8th and they stayed for two weeks, so they left very recently, they left three days ago, they left on the 22nd. And um, that's our students on, at the Philly airport, welcoming them. Um, as for where we went, it was a two week fun, day especially for my seniors um they went to many places they shadowed in school for four days they went to evans elementary for one of the days um if you go on the next slide you'll see some pictures for, of them at washington dc and they went to bear creek on their first day here which i heard was pretty fun um along with other places where they went they went to arnold's uh the fun center in oaks they also went to philadelphia and they visited the constitution center the um, the modern museum and they also went to an overnight stay at New York City, which I definitely saw a lot on social media. It definitely seemed fun. <laughs> and after that, they went straight to Washington, D.C., as you can see over there. And um, it was a few days ago, they went to a Flyers night, the, uh, one of the Flyers games, and I saw that their photo, or like, you know, they were recorded, they were on the big screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I couldn't get the video, up, but I had a video of it. <laughs> and, um, they also went to Lancaster where they saw the Brubaker tour guide and they also went to Shady Maple, which is always a treat. <laughs> As for our kids, um, our seniors are going to Ireland 
Limerick, Ireland on April 5th and we'll be back on April 20th. So just to add a little bit onto that, a friend of mine um, was just recently telling me that she also hosted a dinner for all of the Irish people and they had American food on one side of the kitchen and then they had Irish food on the other side and there was also someone that came that played the bagpipes and they did Irish dancing and I, I think they had a really good time there too from what I read. And then we also had our robotics competition which was held on the 16th. Um, Springford's ninth grade center gymnasium transformed into a robot battleground as teams come from all over in eastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey to compete in the state qualifier. And um, what you said before about whose house they went to, we want to give a thanks to Ashley Hudak for welcoming her home to the Irish Exchange. <laughs> She's right over there. Okay. And then what's coming up is our spring musical, as we all know, which will be the first and the second of March, uh, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m and then the Student Ambassador Program, which we will tell you guys. All right. So we are thinking about starting a Student Ambassador Program, which consists of about two, three students from each grade. Um, so what is a Student Ambassador? A Student Ambassador will be a select group of students chosen to represent Spring Ford High School at various school and community-related activities throughout the school year. Along with us, they will also be the face of the district. Um, some qualifications in order to be a uh, student ambassador would be to be um, to have a GPA of like 90% or higher, um, definitely have verbal and commu communication skills, and be very optimistic and enthusiastic at all times, mm -hmm. and um, definitely be able to be able to speak in public and be confident. Um, as for applications. We definitely want to know the student before interviewing them. So those are just some examples of what kind of questions we might ask them in order to know the student more in depth. And then they're also going to have to fill out an essay question, which as you can see is right up there. And it's just so we can get an idea of why they think they are a good candidate for the student ambassador program. And then they will also need letter of recommendations. And when will this take place? We are hoping um, to do a, review all the applicants and get them interviewed by late March, early um, April. And our goal is to have it for the 2019 to 2020 school year. And then, so for the board, we are asking for some financial help to get <laughs> these um, super cool <laughs> um, blazers for our student, amb student ambassadors, which will, the blazers will be kept in Dr. Nugent's office, and they will just put them on when they have their, when they're doing their thing, and then take them off before they leave. And we will need, obviously, female and male, and all sizes, too. I think you're going to need one that fits Tom if you're going to get him. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Nugent know they're going to be kept in his office? Yes. Oh, okay. They, he does know that. We have, we have talked to him about that. <laughs> Is this your idea? Yes. Is this, you guys came up with this? Yes. That's great. With the help of Dr. Nugent. Are you, looking, <laughs> are you looking for a senior, or is it a junior going into a senior? Like, what's the... Um, because, you know... We're graduating in three months. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. And <laughs> so definitely the juniors that will be seniors. So you'd seniors. be, right now, you'd be taking applications of juniors who will be yes. seniors yes. next year, yes. and the term would be the following school year, or yes. when would they start? Um, so we want this in effect before the 2019-2020 school year begins. So, like, you know, by the first day, it's implemented. And when the, you guys say farewell to me, we're hoping to have a few students up here to show you guys an example of, like, what the future ambassador program will like look like. We don't say farewell, we say see you soon. Yes, and good luck. <laughs> I, I think it's a great initiative that you guys have taken um, to, to spearhead something like this. Um, it's been a long time since we've seen this kind of thing come out of student reps. So thank you for taking the initiative, for following through with some guidance um, with Dr. Nugent, because this mm -hmm. sounds like it could be really beneficial for, mm -hmm. for our school. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. What, you I can see him now. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was just going to say I could see them now doing the track at the football games with their blazers yeah. on. Yes. <laughs> you said student ambassadors from multiple grades, or was um, it five or just huh? Yeah. Just so high school. No, yeah, nine through twelve. So nine like, through twelve. Yeah, so like two mm -hmm. per grade. A oh, two per grade. Yeah. yeah. And who's overseeing this? Is this Dr. Nugent overseeing this? Yes, he does. Does Dr. Nugent know he's overseeing yes. it? Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you get Dr. Nugent to agree to? We should keep going. All of it. All, All of it. All of it. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you one. He needs the money. But definitely um, credit to Dr. Nugent and yes. Dr. Rupert for helping us um, go over the applications and everything. So I, I think this is a great idea, and I'm not speaking for the whole board, but I'm sure. Uh, working with Mr. Fink, we might be able to find some money somewhere to be able to to pull this off. I, I, you know, couldn't imagine that. <laughs> Even if we take it from Mr. Hunter's budget, he doesn't know it though. <laughs> no, this is great. I mean, and then who, uh, Dr. Nugent, since you've been volunteered for most of this, who would be interviewing or deciding on on the students from these questions? We are, um, yeah, we're just working together on this. So we're looking at 9, 10, 11, 12, and um, we're going to put an advertisement for the applications. And I will be part of the interview process, as would Dr. Rupert, and the young ladies will be part of the interview process as well. Um, the two school student board reps will automatically be ambassadors each and every year, so they'll help spearhead the rest of the group. So each year we'll have a different group and uh, we'll have a picture photo that'll be in the lobbies of the building so when folks come in they'll be there. So um, yeah, we're excited about it. The girls have done a nice job putting it together. Yeah, no, this is a great idea. I, I, I mean, I, I love it. I think it's, and then actually it'll help promote, um, you know, when we, when we advertise for a student rep for next year as well, um, since you'll be leaving us. Uh, I know, tear. <laughs> but uh, that's, I love it. This is a great idea. Thank you for, for, for coming up with this. This is, this is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Nugent, what, what type of budget are you looking at? Um, I'm not exactly sure. I've been looking at some blazers online. This is just an example. They're, they actually do sell them for schools, school uniform, et cetera. So I'm, I'm guessing 12 blazers that maybe... 60 bucks a piece or something like that would be an estimate. Okay. And then we would keep them and they would remain with us. So if a student was going to perform a duty as an ambassador, they would come and they would put a blazer on and they would, they would perform whatever task or duty that we had for them at that particular time. Then they'd go back, put the blazer in, and then go back to class depending on the situation. It would be great if we could find a company to get behind this and sponsor this entire program, too. Um, so if anybody knows a program or a company that would sponsor this type of program, I think it would be worth the money and investment to endorse it. Well, if money becomes an issue, I'll buy them, because I think this is a great idea. Yeah, I think we'll figure it out. Yeah. I mean, that's I mean, that's I, on record. I, 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 seriously, I mean, I have no problem sponsoring it. I think this is, I mean, you guys, this is, over the years, from when we talk with our student reps, we want them to be innovative. We want them to be outward thinking and, you know, take it to, and this is what I've been, you know, what I've been asking, and, and I'm excited to see. You guys did a great job with the videos. You've been doing this all year, so to put a program like this together, working with Dr. Nugent, um, this, this is, I'm, I'm blown away by it, so. Um, like I said, I have no problem sponsoring it. And if we can't find the money, I'll, I'll go half with you. All right. Thank you. I know the girls and the future student ambassadors will be greatly appreciative. I need a new purse. <laughs> <laughs> I could give you five bucks <laughs> towards your purse fund. <laughs> All right, thank you.